Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I always thought it was like a very merry Christmas, but apparently not. Hello humans. Every year I am astonished by how quickly Christmas actually creeps up on me. I'll be totally fine in my December living and then my sister will go, oh, there's only 10 sleeps till Christmas. And then I will A, have an existential crisis because where is the rest of the year gone? And B, have a meltdown because I haven't bought any presents yet. I will then take said sister, get on the bus, go to the biggest shopping center near me and buy as many presents as I can in one afternoon. What an afternoon. <laughs> Now Christmas is a time that focuses on family and love and celebration and if you're a Christian it's about Jesus, your saviour and the coolest dude you've ever known uh, being born so celebrating that and all in all it's just a really nice way to kind of wrap up your year by seeing your family, catching up with everyone and kind of just smoothing things over so you end the year on a good note, right? And those themes of Christmas are pretty universal, like you can go anywhere in the world and that's kind of what Christmas is about. But obviously everyone celebrates Christmas differently. I live in Australia, I'm Australian, this is Australia right here. And the main difference between me celebrating Christmas and someone in the Northern Hemisphere celebrating Christmas is that it is summer currently. And if you know anything about Australia, you know it gets stupidly hot. So this video is for everyone that is either new to Australian Christmas, whether you've married an Australian or you're visiting Australia, or you've just discovered your long lost family and you normally celebrate Christmas alone, but now you're having it with your whole extended family. So this is how to survive Aussie Christmas. The first thing that you must do to survive Aussie Christmas is wear sunscreen. I don't care if you're gonna be inside all day, you need to wear sunscreen. You need to have, at the, at the very least, SPF like 30 or 40. Every year, without fail, I come home and it's kind of the afternoon, we come home from lunch and I'm getting changed and I'm like, oh, look at this line from where my swimsuit was and to where my skin is. That's, that's paper and that is a fire truck. Every time. Another danger of Aussie Christmas that you need to avoid are prawns. If peeled incorrectly, Prawns can be horrifying because they have these things, like every animal, uh, called a poo shoot. And if you don't peel the poo shoot, you can eat the prawns poo as well as the prawn. I personally only eat prawns if they're already peeled because I am a wuss and I can't stand taking apart an animal on my plate. It just, it just doesn't sit well with me. So the way that I survive this part of Aussie Christmas is I actually just go to my dad and I say something like, Hey dad, can you peel my prawns for me? And he goes, Bella, just just peel them yourself. Man up, peel the damn prawns. Then I get all emotional and I'm like, but dad, please, I don't want to, but then I don't, nah, nah. And then he ends up peeling them and it's all good and then I get to eat prawns without having to worry about mutilating them. Or missing the poo shoot. <laughs> Everyone knows Australian animals are dangerous. What they don't realise is they can be dangerous even after they're dead, even when they're on your plate. The third way to survive Aussie Christmas is to have a slew of small talk topics to keep your conservative extended family at bay. If you're anything like me and do things that are a little bit out of the ordinary or a bit unconventional, you know, things like talking to a camera in your bedroom or not finishing high school and going and studying arts or drinking more tea than just straight water. You know, if you do weird things, the conventional extended family are gonna come for you because they haven't seen you all year. Or if you're like my family who alternate extended family Christmas lunch each year, they haven't seen you for two years and they want to know what's up and they want to have chats but they also want to be a good person and like instill good beliefs into you and so just maybe catch up on some cricket catch up on the cricket know what's happening there there's a really good looking guy that my friends really like know stuff about Shane Warne is Shane Warne a cricketer? I don't, I don't know and this is why I will not survive this Christmas. That being said, Christmas is so much fun. I, I love Christmas. I love spending time with my family. I love seeing all my extended cousins. I love seeing all my aunts and uncles. That guys, that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I am sweltering in this sealed off sauna of a room. And I'm not gonna lie, the only reason I showered today was because I knew I was filming this. I didn't shower because I'm going to work later. I showered for this video. As always, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're not, I hope it gets better. I love you all and goodbye. When I had my shower this morning, I bought like a face mask yesterday when I went shopping and so I put on this face mask and it said it was white clay so I was like, oh it's gonna be white, but it was blue. So I was walking around the house 
making breakfast and <laughs> hanging out washing with this like avatar face. It was fun. My sister screamed when she saw me and uh, my skin feels nice and soft now. So.